Hello everyone and welcome back to the Teacher Trainers channel. If you have clicked on this video, it is because perhaps you're looking for some information about what TESOL is. So let this video be a full guide about everything you need to know about TESOL. Make sure that you use the timestamps to go to the specific part of the video that is more relevant to what you need to know. So let's start by answering the question, what is TESOL? Well, TESOL stands for Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. And it is a certificate that people who want to teach languages need to have in order to get a job teaching ESL, which means English as a Second Language. So once you have completed that TESOL course and earned your TESOL certificate, it means that you should be equipped with everything that you need to know about preparing a lesson and actually going in and running a lesson effectively. So how can a TESOL course actually help teachers? A TESOL course can help you turn your class from this into this. You see, in traditional teaching, teachers focus more on the knowledge than the delivery of the knowledge. And this leaves a lot of teachers frustrated because they're not able to transfer all the knowledge they have on the subject to the students. So what TESOL tries to do is to equip teachers with modern techniques and modern methodology to ensure that all the knowledge that you're sharing actually reaches the students and they are able to learn it in an engaging and interesting way. A TESOL course should include topics like how to lesson plan, classroom management, different teaching approaches, activities for all levels and ages, and if you choose the right place, your trainer should give you plenty of tasks for you to practice hands-on activities and practice teaching skills and will give you feedback to ensure that you improve your weaknesses and when you step into a real class, you have the confidence that you need and the soft skills that you need to run a class effectively. So, let's look into the question, who is TESOL for? After 10 years of training TESOL, the people who come to my courses the most are, of course, teachers who are already teaching and are looking to upgrade their teaching skills. People who develop a passion in teaching and want to actually learn how to teach are people who work in different careers and they're really good at English, but they want to change careers and they chose teaching English as their new career path. Also, a lot of people that come to my courses are parents who want to actually be able to help their students learning English. The TESOL course does not really have any entry requirements except that your English proficiency needs to be at a good standard for you to be able to teach English and to follow the course as everything in the course is 100% done in English. So how can you study TESOL? There are three main formats. One is the self-study, where you are sent the, all the material and assessments and you complete it all by yourself, which is perhaps the least popular one. The second one is online interactive, which means that you study from home with an actual trainer delivering the lesson and it is all interactive, which means that you will be sharing ideas with the trainer, you will be interacting with other people in the class. This is usually done over Zoom or other online interactive platforms. Some concerns about this one is that maybe the online one does not feel exactly like the TESOL course, but, and here's where I get to promote myself a little bit, the online course that I have put together is as similar as the in-class TESOL course as it gets. So if you're someone who cannot really attend an in-class course or you're looking for a very high quality online course, then check the description because I have one for you. And the third and perhaps the most popular one is the in-class course which means that you actually come into the class and you attend the course with other people in the class and your trainer, of course. Which one is the best? The best one is the one that suits your needs. Where to find a TESOL course? Well, I believe that every country and every major city will have TESOL courses. If not, as I already mentioned, there are plenty of online companies that offer online courses. Remember to choose a TESOL course that is interactive, because if not, you're going to miss out on a lot of hands-on activities that will help you come into the class and actually be able to run the class effectively. Like I mentioned before, us at Inspire, we offer a very good option for people who cannot actually study in class. Make sure you check it out. And this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found all the information that you needed. If there is anything that I have not covered that you want to know, drop a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. See you guys in the next video. Adrian Rogers from the Teacher Trainers, signing out.